Hello, my name's Mike M0MSN, and thanks for uh, joining me once more on my channel. Um, now, some of us have got the, the DX Commander Lite and uh, have uh, observed that if you put a 40 meter element and the 20 meter element on the DX Commander Lite, that the uh, 10 meter band uh, SWR is a little high. Um, and there doesn't seem to be anything you can do. You can trim um, the 40 meter element or the 20 meter element or elongate both, and the SWR still stays around too. Um, and uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a bind, but there's a fix, and uh, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Well, here we are. One of the things that led me to uh, uh, discover the very simple solution uh, was I was using the antenna in a and a small breeze or a reasonable breeze. And every time um, there was a bit of a, a push on the aerial, the SWR improved. Um, and I thought, uh, okay, why? Um, but as you can see, as the antenna sways, and if you can see this, let me see if I can zoom in. The top elements spread apart slightly. And when the, uh, the 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 linear load if you like at the top elements um spread apart the swr comes down and when they're close together it goes up uh, and i thought oh i wonder so um i made uh i made this spreader bar on my um 3d printer um and we'll insert it and see if it helps. So we're going to need to undo this. Chickens here, so Much easier to do in the warm. Okay, so for those of you wanting to perform this modification, um, let's see if I can get it perhaps into shot a bit more. Um, so here it is, this is the mod. Um, up to the top of the pole as normal, um, but then um, we use the 3D printed spacer uh, to separate the uh, the top section of the uh, of the wire of the driven elements. Now the size of this the distance between the wire is 10 centimeters, and the height from the top. Gosh, it's difficult to do when you've got your hands full of fur. Uh, is uh, roughly 46, 40, 45 centimetres. So 45 centimetres down from the top. 
with a 10 centimeter spread, uh, which is uh, exactly the same dimensions, by the way, as the spread diagonally, as the spread diagonally on the top spacer. And uh, it goes all the way to the top and back down to a centimeter or so above the um, bottom spacer where you put the uh, the guide ropes. Anyway, let me just put this back up again. Okay, so this is my test uh, area. Coax coming into the uh, to the base plate. Centre core going to the driven plate. The left hand side is the 40 meter, right hand side is the 20 meter. Um, both go up this side through the uh, spacer to the very, very top. See if I can zoom in. And there's the spreader. And then back down the other side. to one me centimeter above the guide plate. So I haven't got any guide ropes in this because I, uh, I've used a center pole as you've seen. Anyway, let's go and check the SWR across the bands. Okay, so with the, uh, the spacer in, um, we can get uh, two at 28, 250. And if we just quickly run up the band, you see it's crumbing down, creeping down. And at 29, it's roughly 1.15, 1 1.13, 1 sorry. And as we go straight up the band again, it will keep on coming down. Okay, so that's with the spacer. So it is a fix for the uh, 10 meter band. It actually brings it to usable across the entire band, although right down in the, um, the CW part, it is uh, perhaps a little high, um, but then the tuner will bring that in. So that's fix number one, and uh, let's do fix number two, shall we? Uh, and that involves this. So for this fix, you need to measure 2.5 meters up the 40 meter element and cut it. Okay, so we've added our trap at the 2.5 meter point. Okay, now we need to pull the aerial tight, make sure it's all nice and neat. And then on the downside, on the return, the fold back, we need to remove a meter and 18 centimeters. So 1.18 meters of the, uh, of the other side needs to be removed. 
So we'll do that next, bear with. Okay, element length calculator. <laughs> or should I say, let's check it. Okay. Trap for 10 meters, eight foot and three inches when it starts. Okay, eight foot three, which is, should be 150 or thereabouts. Yes, it is. 250 centimeters, two meters 50, or eight foot three. Okay, that's the point where the trap goes in. The element carries on to the top and down the other side. And the actual length of the element is 35 feet, eight inches with a two inch fold back. Or, let's have a look and see what we can find. 10 meters, 10 meters 87 with a four centimeter fold back, no, five centimeter fold back. Okay, that's 10 meters 87. Okay, let's do the 20 meter element. The 20 meter element, 20 meter element, which is here, is. 15 feet, two inches of a three inch fold, but two, sort of a two inch fold back, or four meters, 62 or 63. Yeah, 63, we'll say, of a four centimeter fold back. There you go. Up, to the top, back down. Okay, let's uh, get this nice and close. Antenna 2, which is the uh, DX Commander Light. Send, bump. 1.1. Let's try it a bit lower down the band, say at. Uh, there, so we don't inter oh hang on let's go a bit lower so we don't interfere with uh, the uh, digital guys or the morse guys bang one okay let's try it right at the top of the band won't go any higher bang 1.13 that's cool don't mind that right let's try 20 meters, bang, 1.1 1 .1 at uh, 290. Let's go top of the band, bit for 340. Somebody there, is there? Maybe, okay. It's flat, let's go right to the bottom of the band. Let's go away from the guys that are playing. Flat. Okay, 10 meters. Now this is with the, the trap. 1.1. Let's go to the middle of the band. Let's go to the top of the band, which is 29.8, 29.7, isn't it? So let's go 29.650. go and it's 1.5 well that's acceptable right across so there you go well if you're going to be using 10 meters primarily I would suggest the trap is the uh, the way to go if it's um, an occasional use then the um, then the 3d printed space or indeed any any spacer you could probably use a plastic knitting needle or something uh, to separate the elements at the top um, and uh, yeah there we go